Well, before we get to the next step, we probably need to make sure that we're connected to our file locker. I'm going to drop this down to the dock for just a moment and uh, go to Finder and tell Finder I want to look at my network. I'm looking for the file locker that I'm using. Now I've logged on, I can find my folder. I did all that because, well, we haven't saved yet. So now back in Photoshop, I'm going to say, I'm going to do a file save as, and to file save as, uh, I want to make sure that I'm going to my folder. You may have to click on your file locker, the folder name, and find your, your folder. And in the resources folder, I'm going to save this as, make sure I'm not taking out the .psd because that's important. F-A-V-I-C-O-N. I'm going to call this my fav icon. I'm saving it in the Photoshop document format. So I'll click on Save. It wants to know if I want to maximize compatibility. That's always a great idea. Okay. Now I have a backup copy. So if something terrible happens, I can always go back to my backup copy. 64 by 64 is way too big. So let's go to uh, image, image size, and I'm going to drop this from 64 by 64 to 16 by 16. Now, it automatically put the 16 in the in the height line because this item was uh, selected. This is the lock saying that, you know, keep these things proportional. If I change one, you have to change the other. You can click on that to break that kind of link, but that would be kind of a silly thing to do for this assignment. Okay, I'm looking at this thing at 100% right now, and uh, wow, it looks, a, uh, it looks pretty small. And, uh, you know, EP might have been too much. I might have had a... It might have been better if I just put the letter E there. Well, that's one of those artistic decisions that you have to make. You may want to go back in uh, and change your icon. It may be too busy. Well, stare at this for a few moments. See if it grows on you. If not, uh, change it. If you look at it and go, yeah, I'm okay with it, then we'll move on to the next step.